Listen to Herbert Marshall as the man called X. Wherever there is mystery, adventure, intrigue, in all the strange and dangerous places of the world, there you will find the man called X. Tonight, the man called X visits Athens, Greece. Western civilization, mother city of world-famous men, modern and ancient symbol of the glory that is Greece. This is the city of Athens. Uh, you're sure everything is all set, Grisha? There's no chance for a slip out, eh? Believe me, my darling cousin Pagan, you've got absolutely nothing to worry about. I swear it by the father of my father of my father. Huh? I knew it. I knew it. You're lying to me. Give me back my money and, and, and let me out of this thing. Pagan, you wound me deeply. I have allowed you to buy a half interest in a genuine Byzantine Bible. Oh, sure. For 50 bucks. When I could pick up all the Bibles I wanted for nothing. In any hotel room. Of course, my darling cousin. But would they be worth $50,000? Hmm? And all you've got to do is take it in that bookstore and give it to a man by the name of Centos. He'll give you the mazuma and we'll split it right down the middle. Sixty four. Well, uh, well, okay, I'll take it, but, uh, but believe me, Grisha, if I find out that you double-crossed me in any way, hey, God, God, how can you say such a thing? After all, we are both Delshmi. That's just what I mean. Oh, well. <clears throat> oh. How do you do, I'm sure. I- I'm looking for a Mr. Santos. Would you be, by any chance, be him at... Um, <clears throat> like <laughs> like I was saying, I, I got here a, be- a beautiful deluxe edition of a Bible. That's worth maybe $50,000. Hey, <clears throat> why, why, why do you sit there looking looking at me like that, huh? Why do you... Oh, oh you... You're you dead. You're, you're dead. You... Let me out of here. Let me... Help! All I know, Mr. X, I walk in, this center joker is dead. And I'm left holding the bag. What happened to Grisha? But that double crossing, no good was gone. Haven't seen hide of him since. Mm. So, what do you think, Mr. X? Is that Bible worth 50 grand, like Grisha said? No. I knew it. I knew it. No, I'd say it was worth about 10 million. Oh, sure, that's what I thought. It's only worth a lousy 10 million. 10 million! Does the name Arvidas Tomorrow's mean anything to you? Tomorrow's? For sure. He was a wealthy Greek philanthropist some uh, 10, 15 years ago. That's right. He was going to establish a foundation for underprivileged Greek children when the Axis moved in and took over Greece. Tomorrow's escaped to Turkey and died there, penniless. And the foundation was never established. Well, but what's it got to do with that Bible you have, Ken? The, inspi- the inscription on the flyleaf says it belongs to the Tomorrow's family. Sorry. So what? Chief, the $10 million Tomorrow's put up for that youth foundation was never located. Just disappeared. And now there's been an offer of $50,000 on one murder over a Bible that should only be worth a few dollars. Ah. It'd be pretty nice, Chief, if that youth foundation could be started again. $10 million could do a lot of good for a lot of Greek children. Yeah. Now let me know how you come out, Ken. Afternoon, sir. Is there something I could do for you? Uh, yes, I'm uh, looking for a buyer for a book. I thought someone here might be interested. Oh, I'm sorry. We are going out of business and are not interested in buying any additional stock. Not even a Byzantine Bible? 
you have such a Bible? But if I did, would it be worth anything? Far more money than a bookshop like this could ever possibly afford. Strange. I understood a man by the name of Santos was willing to pay $50,000 for such a Bible if it was delivered to him here. Well? You are mistaken, sir. No one by the name of Santos is known here. Then what was the name of the man who was murdered here about an hour ago? No one has been killed on these premises. A call to the police should convince you of that. Oh, I've already called them. They've had no report of any murder here. But you are not convinced? No. Why not? You didn't pull that rug over far enough. What? That red stain on the floor is still showing. Anything more you'd like to tell me before I go? Nothing. Okay. You can find me at the Genitza Hotel if you change your mind. I can give you assurance right now that you have seen the last of me, Mr. Thurston. I might always believe that, except for one thing. And what is that? How you knew my name when I haven't mentioned it. Bye. Believe me, Mr. X, I've talked to practically every crook in... I, I mean, I, every friend I got in Athens. Nobody knows nothing about any ten million bucks from any Tamaris Foundation for kids. Hmm. What about that dead man, uh, Centaur? Nothing. Nothing. Nobody ever heard of such a character in the book business. I was afraid of that. I tell you, we're wasting time with fake Bibles and stuff, Mr. X. And we should ought to concentrate on a good legitimate business like, like stolen diamonds. Diamond? That's right. He's making a fortune in it. Who is? Mr. Santos. What? Oh, sure. He's the biggest fence in Athens. And there's more hot rocks than the firemen in the clinker pack. Hey, on. If you don't start making sense... But I'm uh... making sense, Mr. Rick. I am, really. The only guy named Santos in this town is a crook. And besides, he's alive. Where does he hang out? Oh, he's got a little joint over Messina Street. Uh, but he isn't... Uh... Thanks. See you later, Pago. <laughs> You wish to sell me a Byzantine Bible, Mr. Thurston. I understand you're in the market for one, Sandros. Well, it would be more exact to say that I was in the market for one. What made you change your mind? I'm very fond of money, Mr. Thurston, and ten million dollars American is a good deal of money. However, there is one thing I value more. My life. That ten million dollars you mentioned, that's the money that was going to support the Tomaris Foundation. It is. Then it's still in existence. And the Byzantine Bible I have holds the clue as to where it is. Your reasoning is most exact, sir. Yes. Yeah. You know, Santos, you're being very cooperative. Yes, I quite agree. Why? Why risk my life being hoggish, Mr. Thurston? Even half of ten million dollars is a considerable sum of money. That's the cut you want for disclosing the secret of this Bible I have? It is, sir. Well, no deal. As you wish. I'm certain I can find someone else who will enter into such an agreement with me. Uh, that'll be pretty tough. One of you would have to get the Bible away from me first. Yes, yeah, that is quite correct, Mr. Thurston. One of us would. found your cousin, Grisha. That's right, Mr. Rett. He's waiting for us up here in the hotel room. Did he tell you where he got the Bible? He wouldn't tell me nothing. But now we'll learn what it is all about when we can... <gasps> that is far enough, gentlemen. She's got a gun. She's got a gun. Well... You are not surprised to find me here, Mr. Thurston? Why should I be? I told you we'd meet again. Grisha, what happened to Grisha? That rather obnoxious little man I found here when I came in, he's gone. I was afraid he would interfere with my search. For my Byzantine Bible? No, Mr. Thurston. For my father. I read it tomorrow. And the ten million dollars that he stole from me. by the wealthy philanthropist Aretas Tamaris to establish a youth foundation for Greek orphans. And Ken Thurston is in Athens attempting to locate the missing funds in order to reestablish the foundation. 
And now, in his hotel room, he and Pagon are faced by a strange young girl who holds them at gunpoint. No, Mr. Thurston. I am not after your Bible. I am looking for my father, Arrida Tomaros, and the ten million dollars that he stole from me. So you're Arrida's daughter? Yes, Zerta Tomaros. As though you did not know. As a matter of fact, I didn't. And I didn't know your father was still alive. All that he's stolen ten million dollars from... Let's have that gun. Will you Thank you, Mr. Thurston. I suppose you'll tell us what this is all about, Mr. Tomaros. What do you mean by looking for your father when he died penniless in Turkey a number of years ago? That is not true. He left my mother and me here to starve under the occupation while he lived on the fat of the land in Turkey with the $10 million he had stolen from us, from the foundation. Who told you all this? Santos? Yes. And the man who called this morning verified it. What man? Well, he didn't give his name. He only said that my father was here in town and that he had our family Bible with him. And that I could have it to remember him by. If I was willing to pay 50,000 American dollars for it. Yes. Yeah. Where did I come in? How did you know about me? Well, when I refused his offer, that man told me I could reach him at this hotel, in your room, in the event I changed my mind. Hmm. Huh? What a pack of lies, eh, Mr. Thurston? Let's take her down to the poke and lock her up for assault with a battery. No, 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 Pig. I'll have a hunch that the story is true. But how can it be? You know this Arita Stamaris is dead. Yeah, but somebody could be playing a pretty cruel trick on her in order to cash in on that Bible. Let's take a good look at it and find out for ourselves. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Thurston. Is there something we can do for you? Yeah, I'd like to have that Bible I left here in the hotel safe. Oh, of course, the Bible. I'll get it for you. Did you say the Bible, Mr. Thurston? Yeah, that's right. But I've already returned it to it. Returned it? But of course, not half an hour ago. It doesn't give it to me. Not personally, no, but your friend brought your note. Um, here it is with your signature on it. You, you can see for yourself that it is your signature. Huh. It's a perfect forgery, all right. Forgery? You, you you can't be serious. Did this friend of mine give you his name? Oh, yes, yes, I believe he did. I I, I can't remember exactly, but... Uh, yes, 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 now I remember. What, what, what was it? Uh, Tomorrow's. Your friend's name was Aridis Tomorrow's. <laughs> Unusual to find a gentleman like you in such a squalid atmosphere. You seem to be at home in it, Santos. <laughs> of course. In my business, one must frequent the haunts of one's customers. Smugglers, jewel thieves, others of that ilk. Yes. What about people who have stolen Bibles to sell? Yes, you are quite right. Where is he, Santos? Who, Mr. Person? Grisha Zelschmidt. Surely you do not suspect Grisha of having stolen your Bible. Only two people could forge my signature that well. And Pagan was with me. Superful logic. Any denial would be useless. When last I saw him, he was in that back room. However, Mr. Zellschmidt no longer possesses the Bible. Oh? Who did he sell it to? Uh, poor Grisha could not inform me. He appeared to be rather dead. about that Bible, and I want the whole story. Oh, sir, help me. Oh, okay, okay I'll, I'll, I'll tell you everything I know. Everything. Where did you get it in the first place? Well, it, it was kind of given to me by some Turkish sailor. What? I swear it, by the father of oh, But it was. He owed me a couple bucks or two from a crap. 
uh, from a business deal, you understand, and gave me the Bible in part payment. He picked it up in Turkey someplace and said it was worth a lot of money to somebody in Athens. Here. Look, here's the paper that came with it. The paper? Let me see that. What is it, Mr. Rex? Listen. In the event of my death, anyone returning this Bible to the below-mentioned people in Athens will be most suitably rewarded. And it's signed, I'll read this to Mr. Thurston? Yes. And the people he named are Zeta Tomaros, Andrea Santos, and the Georgie Pandelli. Pandelli? Who is he? Oh, he's captain of some steamship or something, a very low-class type of cheap skater. So you came to Athens and got in touch with these people? That's right. Pandelli and the Zeta cook wouldn't have nothing to do with me. But Santos was different. First crock out of the bag, he offered me $50,000 for that fake old dive. Well, what happened then? Well, after Pandelli knocked off Santos' pal in the bookstore, he called me. He said he was ready to do business. But you already had the Bible in the safe, so I, I took it and started to the Pandelli. Only that dirty crook knocked me subconscious and didn't pay me nothing, and that's all I know. Boy, not even in my best lying days did I ever come up with such a wallapazooza like that. You know, uh, it could make sense, Pega. It could? Sure. And we're going to pay a visit to Pandelli's ship to prove it. Like this, huh? We didn't sneak aboard. We're paying an open visit to Captain Pandelli. Yeah, but... Come on. How do you know he wants to see us? Uh, maybe he don't like people asking questions about Bibles and stuff. Maybe... <laughs> oh. Oh, Mr. Yeah. Pandelli. Can you hear me? Pandelli. That's right. It, it only took no 40 days and... Somewhere inside that chimney. But how 
could he do that? Somebody's climbing up there. Climbing? Yep. Have you found it yet, Sandra? Well, it is the response for Mr. Dalton again. That's right. So you finally figured out where tomorrow hid the funds of the foundation. It was just to the that I was I found, Sandra. Yes. The clues were in Genesis, chapter 6 through 10. The story of Noah and the ark. And Mount Ararat. That is right. And how did you figure it out? I noticed some words in Ionic instead of the old Attic dialect. And if tomorrow's had the money with him in Turkey, he wouldn't have needed the Bible and its code. That meant he hadn't taken it out of this country. Then I suppose you know how I came into the picture. And Pandemic. I guess tomorrow's put those funds into something with permanent value, like uh, diamonds. You could have been his broker. I was. As for Pandeli, well, tomorrow's got out of Greece some way. Pandeli's ship could have been the answer. It was. And now? It looks like his youth foundation is going to become a reality, Santos. You will have to get the diamond first. I'm coming down, sir. Don't stand in that way. Take it easy, Santos. That stack is old. Ready to collapse. The concussion for those shots could start it. Just wait, they don't quit.